All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honest to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Peace and blessings to the elect that sincerely uh, believe in this truth and that are doing this work on the highways and hedges throughout the four corners of the earth. Um, I got an article, a quick article I want to get into pertaining to uh, prophecy and what's going on in the news right now and um, how it relates to uh, the coming salvation of the elect of the nation of Israel. Um, I have an article here from the uh, Washington Times. Uh, as you can see here, if, it's, if I can get it on the screen, but it's from the uh, Washington Washington Times, and it's entitled uh, "Significant Increase in Terror Chatter as Haunting Anniversary of 9/11 Nears." All right, so we're about 13 years into the anniversary of the uh, September 11, 2001 attacks, which was an inside job, by the way, no matter whether you believe it or not, it was, okay? Um, and how this government and the elites of this society um, are trying to push their um, demonic and satanic New World Order, okay? And um, just as before, the 9/11 attacks. There's um, being talks now of a, uh, of new attacks, whether it's a serious attack, uh, a, a particular event. All right, um, that's going to happen on American soil to uh, push up, push this war. Okay, and to further get America involved in what's going on in the Middle East over there. All right, and this is. Uh, this is actually from today, uh, Thursday, August 28, 2014, from the Washington Times. Uh, it says, uh, going into the article, it says, The U.S. intelligence community has observed a significant increase in chatter among terrorist organizations as the 13th anniversary of the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks nears. Now, <clears throat> uh, I just want to point out this number 13 here, which is a uh, very mas uh, uh, a Masonic number and a uh, Satanic number uh, going into the occult and the Illuminati, all right? And um, it's very significant to their um, agenda when they try to um, get things done. So something very well could happen on uh September 11, 2014. Okay? Something could happen. Alright? But everything that they do is by numbers. It is, is they, 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 um, they're very satanic in how they, um, push forward their agenda. So I just want to point that out. Alright? It says, we've noticed a significant increase in chatter among Islamic terrorist organizations overseas. Both on the internet and phone lines, a U.S. government official speaking on condition of uh, uh, anonymity told the blaze. All right. It says, see also, we are in your streets. Chicago gets chilling Islamic State territory. So this is also going into the same thing. So there could be an attack on um, the city of Chicago. Okay. Um. As, as, as uh, ISIS states It says while the intelligence community Cannot pinpoint whether or not an attack is planned The official said that agencies Did see this kind of increase In chatter before the September 11 attacks So they're, they're playing the same They're playing the same game Okay They're using the same steps and the same programs They did before Alright but this time around There's more and more um, People that are in the know To the elites in their agenda and what they're trying to do but it's also a way with this inf with, with this whole internet thing to uh, push their agenda as well okay it says deciphering chatter is more difficult than in previous years because of the rise of the Islamic State group which threatens to drain Al Qaeda of resources as it asserts dominance as it asserts dominance in Iraq and Syria like Al Qaeda Islamic State, also known as ISIS or ISL, has openly declared its intent to bring terror to American interests around the globe. 
Now this group ISIS or ISI or whatever, it's 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 funded by the elites. This is another terrorist group set up, like Al Qaeda was set up, to basically, um, um, because Al Qaeda wasn't working, so now they got another group to bring out in the Middle East to get them into Iraq and Syria to uh, further gain control over that area. All right, and um, now the group is called ISIS, right? And I did some research. And I looked up ISIS, and we all know that ISIS is the uh, is an Egyptian god. Okay, ISIS is an is is an Egyptian goddess. Okay, and we know that the elites and the Illuminati they worship these different goddesses. And here you have her here, uh, ISIS, goddess of health, marriage, and love. Um, the goddess Isis portrayed as a woman wearing a headdress shaped like a throne and with an unk in her hand. Now this is all gonna I'm gonna try to um, uh, bring in uh, the meaning to this group being named uh, uh, Isis spiritually, and um, how it relates to um, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the upcoming terrorist attacks and the um, uh, elite's plans to try to establish their new world order. So it says Isis. Um, is a goddess in ancient Egyptian religious religious beliefs whose worship spread throughout the Greco Roman world. So even Esau worship Isis as they do today, the elites. She was worshipped as the ideal mother and wife as well as the patroness of nature and magic. She was the friend of slaves, sinners, artisans, and the downtrodden downtrodden, but she also listened to the prayers of the wealthy maidens aristocrats and rulers Isis is often depicted as the mother of Horus the falcon headed deity associated with king and kingship now we know that the eye of Horus um, or, or uh, um, what they call the, the eye of providence or whatever is on the back of the dollar bill but Isis is the mother of Horus and the back of the dollar bill that pyramid is pertaining to the elites trying to establish the new world order. So what are the elites really saying by naming this group ISIS? I'm going to show you. Um, it, says, it says ISIS is also known as protector of the dead and goddess of children. It says the name ISIS means throne. Her headdress is a throne. As a, profan as a personification of the throne, she was an important representation of the pharaoh's power. And right now, the pharaohs are the elite Illuminati international bankers. Rothschilds, Rockefellers, um, so forth and so on. Okay? Alright? And we know that the elites are big on mother goddess worship. So, with the elites and their rulership and their kingship pertaining to Horus, Horus' mother would be Isis. Now this group is named ISIS, right? I'm gonna go down, and because uh, it was a particular point that I had read in here earlier, and I wanted to bring out. Um, it says, uh, and this is in, into the et etymology of ISIS. It says, "How uh, I'm gonna read down." It says, "However, the symbolic and metaphoric meaning of ISIS, ISIS's name remains unclear." The throne seat sign in her name might point to a functional role as a goddess of kingship, as the maternal protector of the ruling king. The ruling king at this time, as I stated, is the elites. So they're calling, so they're invoking the spirit of Isis to protect them. And what establishing the new world order by using this group, this um, this group, um, the Islamic State. Or ISIS to help them push forward their agenda. Okay. All right. Um. And and, and that's basically what information spiritually that the spirit showed me to to, to gather from this whole um um thing with ISIS and how the elites are going to use them to push the new world order. Okay. Because th this thing is getting big. So this. This this whole terrorist attack that 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 um is being rumored right now, it it's it's like a avenue for the elites to establish a, a foothold over there in Iraq, Syria, and other places in um, the Middle East. And spiritually, 
they're invoking this ISIS spirit to protect them and to guide them into uh, establishing the new world order. All right, because it's all spiritual. Okay, but it says uh, back in the article, it says deciphering chatter is more difficult than in previous years because of the rise of the Islamic State group, which threatens to drain Al Qaeda of resources. So now they're pushing Al Qaeda out the way and they're bringing ISIS up. Okay. As 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 at the new uh, uh, face of terrorism, okay, um, or, uh, or or the new terrorist group, it says uh, as it asserts dominance in Iraq and Syria, like Al Qaeda Islamic State, also known as I ISIS I S I I S I S or I S I L, has openly declared its intent to bring terror to American interests around the globe. Okay, it says the threat is twofold because ISIS is in war with core Al Qaeda. Former CIA case officer Brian Fairchild told The Blaze. Uh, ISIS was kicked out of Al Qaeda in February and they've been fighting each other internally for leadership. All right, so it's been a big year so far for 2014, whether it's, it's, it's this situation with ISIS to the situation with Russia and Crimea and Ukraine to the Ebola virus to these different shootings in America uh, 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 or the police brutality killing Jake. Okay, so that that pot is 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 um, boiling right now. and It's getting ready to boil over. It says ISIS is winning right now. They have captured the imagination of young Muslims from around the world and depriving Al-Qaeda of its own fighters. Al-Qaeda is split down the middle, and now you have 9-11 anniversary approaching. It would be beneficial to both camps that on 9-11, some great attack in the United States takes place, he added. So this could be what they need, the elites need, to push their, um, their agenda. Uh, it says the Islamic State executed American photojournalist James Foley on August 19th and has used social media platforms to threaten terror attacks on American soil. So, so they're trying to use the Internet and push their agenda. Okay. Uh, it says here, it says, uh, see also ISIL to U.S. We will raise the flag of Allah in the White House. Okay. And that's another article to look at. Um, Chicago's uh, WGN Network recently reported that a tweet from the terror group on June 20 which proves that these groups are set up okay includes a picture taken on Michigan Avenue the tweet reads soldiers of the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria will pass from here soon an Arabic message held up in the picture was translated we are in your streets now um, if I could bring it up which I'm going to try to um during the Ferguson protests last week, it was a matter of fact. I'm gonna see if I can get it real quick. Um, real quick. Um, let me see. Okay, because there was an actual photo. Because they mentioned uh, ISIS in Chicago. Well, there was an actual photo of, of somebody holding a sign of ISIS is in Ferguson. Right. Okay, I pulled it up. Um, right. So th and, and this is all um, subconscious propaganda that the elites are pushing. But I just wanted to pinpoint this particular thing that happened last week during the, uh, the protest. With um, with ISIS. Okay. Uh, this is from CNN. Okay, the Cartoon News Network. All right, or the Cheap News Network, whatever you want to call it. Uh, breaking news: New protests in Ferguson. But well, this is a steal. Ferguson, Missouri, and you said ISIS. ISIS is here. Okay, I can't read the rest of the sign, but um. Th and this is just to prep. And 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 to the push into the people of America's subconscious of of a new boogeyman on the scene. Okay, ISIS, 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 ISIS. Okay, so now back in the article, um, 
It says here, Chicago's WGN Network recently reported that a tweet from the terror group on June 20th includes a picture taken on Michigan Avenue. The tweet reads, soldiers of the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, ISIS, will pass from here soon. So, so we get... You have propaganda in, in, in Ferguson. It's, it's all over the news. Now it's in Chicago. Um, an Arabic message uh, held up in the picture was translated, We are in your streets. Um, and that's it. Okay? That's it. On this article here. But basically, there's um, there's um, terror chatter and uh, news and rumors of a new terrorist attack, okay? But this is all prophecy, it's all spiritual, it's all according to the plan of Yahweh Ba Shami Yahweh Shai. Okay? Um I didn't have no scriptures ready in particular, but I'm gonna go through some um scriptures pertaining to terrorist attacks. Okay, and how the Lord sanctions um these things. Um Right, this is one of the main ones I wanted to get. All right, from uh, the book of Job, chapter 18, verse 11. It says, Terrors shall make him afraid on every side and shall drive him to his feet. This is pertaining to um, these different terrorist attacks that take place in America. Because there's, there's going to be um, all kinds of different terrorist attacks and things uh, to go on. Whether it, it could be a bio attack, it could be a, a, a pocket nu um, a nuclear bomb going off in a particular city here in America or in multiple cities. It could be um, um, uh, drone strikes or, or, or some, it could be anything. Okay, it could be it could be um uh like I said a bio attack. It could be a, a a nuke bomb going off. Okay, it could be um um you know a, a somebody has a, a um a bomb in their shoe in the airport and 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 then you know that explodes or something. It could be anything. Okay, but more than likely they're going to blame it on this new group ISIS but it's all prophecy okay so it says uh, terror shall make him afraid on every side and shall drive him to his feet uh, it says his strength shall be hunger bitten and destruction shall be ready at his side because it's all ultimately going to lead to, to the destruction of America by thermonuclear missiles uh, verse 13 it shall devour the strength of his skin even the firstborn of death shall devour his strength. Now the his is is uh, pertaining to uh, Esau, these Edomites, uh, the so-called white man here in America. All right, and then it says, even the firstborn of death shall devour his strength. The firstborn of death is Yahweh Shai, okay, because he was the man that was known to come back from um, death after three days being um, in the grave, okay, because Yahweh Shai is going to come back with the chariots and the angels to uh, start. Um, uh, destroying America as well and deliver the elect. Verse fourteen, his confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle, and his and it shall bring him to the king of terrors. The king of terrors is Yahweh, the Most High. Okay, the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's the king of terrors. They're worried about ISIS. Esau's worried about Al Qaeda and these other groups and these militia groups. You know, he's worried. He's he's worried about us. But he should be worried about the power behind us, behind the elect of Israel, the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Because all this is going to lead to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which is known as Allah Shaja in the Bible, okay? God Almighty, okay? The terrible demon like power, the king of terrors, man. And he's going to destroy America. Verse 15 It shall dwell in this tabernacle because it is none of his. The earth doesn't belong to the so called white man, so he's going to get that judgment. Of destruction it says brimstone shall be scattered upon his habitation because America is going to go down by thermonuclear missiles his root shall be dried up beneath and above shall his branch be cut off that's pertaining to uh, the Malachi the fourth chapter where it says uh, um, 
it shall leave him neither uh, root nor branch, because America is going to be turned into a complete desert. His remembrance shall perish from the earth, and he shall have no name in the street, because Esau is going to and is is going to be put into slavery, and America is going to be destroyed. He shall be driven from light into darkness, and chased out of the world. He shall have neither son nor nephew among his people, nor any remaining in his dwellings. They that come after him shall be astonished in, at his day, as they that went before were affrighted. Because Esau, after a thousand years of slavery, is going to be gathered together and burned up by Israel, the true nation of Israel, you so-called blacks, uh, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, uh, verse 21. Surely such are the dwellings of the wicked, and this is the place of him that knoweth not the Most High. Which is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So these terrorist attacks and these different things are gonna happen, man. Okay. Um and 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 and, and these attacks are, are, are gonna be worse than what you see here. That happened on nine eleven. It's 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 gonna be way worse, man. Alright. Way worse. So um with that, I'm ended there. Um I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Uh, I, I, once again, double honors to the apostles of uh, um, Israel, or the elect of Israel, um, apostles and elders of the great millstone. Uh, uh, shalom to the elect, and Lord willing, until the next article and the next update, I'm going to say Shalom.